Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I've got my morning coffee. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies are terrible today. It's Friday morning, July 3rd. It is 8.30. I've got things to do today. Thought I would do a haul and enjoy my coffee. So, I hope y'all are doing good. Um, I did find out a couple interesting fun facts from you guys and what I've noticed at my Dollar Tree. Um, there, oops, let's not spill the coffee. There is a big sign on the front of my door, like one of those poster thingies at my store that announces that that is a Crafter Square store. So I'm assuming in different areas and regions, they're picking specific stores because that is the only one in my area. And I have like five Dollar Trees within a 10 mile radius of my house. And that is the biggest, not even the biggest store actually. Um, sorry, I'm getting comfy here. It's not the largest square footage store, but I think it does the most business. So that's why they put it there. Here's Alex and Dub, Dubby. I call him Dub or Dubby Stein or when he's bad, it's Wellington, like Wellington. It's six o'clock on a Friday morning and I don't have to be up. Can we sleep? No. So anyway, um, you can also go online. Apparently, uh, one of you lovely subscribers left a comment that if you go on to the Dollar Tree website, it will tell you where the Crafter Square stores are. So I'm assuming this is becoming a thing. They're just kind of working it in. So I wanted to share that. All right. I I don't have anything in really particular order, but I did want to go through a couple things um, first. So I got some back to school items for my little cousin, and I say little, but she's 13. Excuse me, my teenage cousin. Um, for her, for back to school. I think she might be my child secretly because she and I have a lot of the same characteristics. Uh, she's very organized, gets all her stuff ready the night before. Oh, I love that kid. Her brother, love him too. Not so organized, but we love him. So Addie, hey girl, um, I got her this little bag. And when I was walking out, I saw that they had matching notebooks, little, like the little spiral bounds, but it's got all the um, zodiac signs. You know, like Cancer, Leo, and all of that. And I just thought that was really cute. Just a little bag for, honestly, she could put pens and pencils in it. Um, an emergency kit that girls should keep with them would fit in here nicely. You know, just things for school. She could throw it in her backpack, and it's not so little girlish. So I thought she would enjoy that. Her favorite colors are purple and teal, I think. Still hard to say. Then I did show you this before. So I won't open it again, but this is the little bento style lunch box or lunch container that everything for her lunch could fit literally in here, throw it in a cooler bag and take it. But to go with that, I picked up a two pack of these. I love these for all sorts of things. And I can tell you that I have one of these that I have had for years. I keep ibuprofen, Sudafed, stuff like that in it in my purse. And I'm in and out all the time and it's not broken, the, you know, the little snaps hold up. This, this size is amazing, it's a great quality. So she got this color in the little snack thing and that. And then I grabbed her this. It's, I think it's supposed to be a soup bowl, but quite frankly, you could put a salad in this. This is pretty good size. I mean, it, that would definitely hold a small side salad. And I like that these um, snap on. Now, it does vent if you want to microwave it. Um, but I still think this would be perfect for a fruit salad, for a you know, lettuce salad, any type of lunch that she wants to take. So I got her that in the navy. And then also in the navy, I got her just this sandwich, which her brother can use these too if he wants. I don't know that he packs a lunch, but... It's a sandwich holder, and again, this would hold a decent sized sandwich, but it would also hold like a wrap. This would hold a salad as well, um, or some wraps, or you could take like cupcake liners, and like the, especially the silicone ones, and make this a little bento box for a younger one, and it's easy to get into, and I think that's key for your younger kids, 
it's two little snaps and you just open it so I got her for her lunch packing supplies some of these containers she liked mine when I we went on vacation and I had my bento box with me she liked that but you know this stuff gets lost damage if she needs better quality I'll certainly get it for her but we're gonna try this first and this says it's for a sandwich, but honestly, can you imagine like a nice wrap, like a roll up and you slice it in here and then maybe some veg? I think that would be awesome. And I'm putting it all in this bag because it needs to go to her house. So I grabbed that and then I bought for the dogs. They have this dog toy. Now it is heavy and it's bouncy. I had two, but I've been playing with the cats with one. They can't roll. They can't pick it up. Barely can move it. I mean, they could bat it, but I bounce it and they chase it. Um, the reason I bought this, it looks just like the Chuck It brand, which is for heavy chewers. And they, my cousins, same cousins, have two German Shepherds, Layla and Journey. And we're going to go over there when it's safe to do so and when they're home. And we're going to do a test to see if this holds up to the heavy chewers. Um, those two dogs can tear up some stuff no time flat they are they're just super chewers and so if this ball can hold up to those two it can hold up to any dog so i grabbed two one for their dog and one for my brother's dog like i said we were playing with one here i will pack it up and take it to my other brother but um his dog is not as aggressive chewer as journey and layla but i wanted to make sure so we're gonna take it over and i will film it we'll have a does this hold up to dogs because i will tell you most of the cat stuff that I've gotten has been okay. Um, and to be fair, since we're being fair here, um, I've got, I'm looking at it, two baskets of cat toys that they don't play with half of. Right now, Alex's favorite toy is a pom-pom out of my craft room. One of those little tiny pom-poms. He has been carrying that thing around, playing with it, batting it. Ch he's chasing it through my kitchen right now. Those are his favorite toys. And Wellington likes the catnip, but he doesn't really play with them. He rolls on them. So the cat baskets really get played with by Luna when she comes. And Luna is my niece's chihuahua. She's coming today, actually. Maybe I'll get some video in the blog for her. Of her for you, playing with her cats. And by play, I mean she really wants to play with them. And they're fine with her. They don't bite her or scratch her or anything. But they're like, girl, that's not how we play dogs and cat life um what else did i get i don't have a huge haul here to be honest with you i know i feel like i do but i just don't i picked up two of these for sarah she's my niece she really likes these and for a dollar it's a mug cake with the topping so there's like a fudge topping i'm telling you if you're going on a vacation this summer or like renting a condo or going someplace with a kitchen and kids and family these are great. And they sell them in four packs at the at the grocery store. Um, I just grab them when I, a couple when I see them for her. I don't eat these. But um, these would be great for, like, fun movie night for the kids. Let them make it. You know, like, kids love to do this kind of stuff. And it's literally empty the brownie mix into a mug. Add a tablespoon plus one teaspoon of water or milk and stir. You microwave it. And then you squeeze the top. That's it. These are great if you haven't tried them yet. And they make great Christmas gifts too. If you like do a little, um, again, like a movie night or you could put one of these with a mug and um, maybe some sprinkles or something to go on top would be super fun. And then put a movie with it. I don't know. I'm really into the, it's July. It's time for me to get ready for Christmas mood. Oh, I forgot. I have one more thing for Addie um, for her lunch thing. It's, and I've been using one of these for some time now. It's a lunch uh, salad dressing container so you could put any type of dressing mayonnaise mustard dress anything salad dressing any condiment of that sort i'm looking for in here and then it squeezes out the top now what i would say is you want to wash it as soon as you get home if you get a small bristle brush and it's sometimes challenging if you're using like an oily um, dressing down in here i wouldn't run it through the dishwasher although it probably says it's dishwasher safe i wouldn't Here's another fun fact. You could put moisturizer in here and use it as a travel container. I'm just saying. You can do that. Doesn't have to be for food, but it is food safe. But yeah, you could put some sun or some moisturizer in here. I believe it's less than three ounces, so you could take it on the plane. I'm 100% sure this is less than three ounces. Um, 
it doesn't say but so anyway I grabbed her one of those it matches so if she does decide to take salad for lunch or vegetable and she could use this for her ranch whatever it's nice to have so I grabbed her one of those I picked up one of these for me because I love them I have no need in my life for this but I like them so I bought it actually the one I really like I have to go to Kroger for and pick up and it's the crisp apple it tastes like apple juice it's so good and in the fall ooh, I will buy them up and actually I should buy them now um, Kroger if you have a Kroger or a Kroger affiliate in your area like I think Ralph's is a Kroger affiliate they send coupons and my they're personalized so I got a coupon for those because I bought that's the only place I can find the apple flavor but if I start buying now when fall comes I'll have them um I picked up this box this is a good deal it's a family size um Duncan Hines fudge brownie mix I use this when I make my brookies um one of these boxes will get me two dozen brookies so I scoop I think it's a three ounce scoop maybe maybe a one and a half ounce it's the small cookie scoop I put one in each hole and then I put a cookie frozen cookie disc on top I've showed them to you before I was supposed to go on Sunday to a like a work meetup we were gonna go to a park and do social distancing but one I was tested for COVID yesterday I am negative and I'm but this allergy cold whatever I started getting a fever I really wasn't feeling well. <laughs> I've had this cough. <coughs> I say cough and I cough. I've had this cough at my ears. And I'm like, you know what? Let's get tested. So I was tested. I'm negative. But the county that I live in is seeing like double digit numbers right now. And so we canceled. It's just not safe. But I'll have that brownie mix for when we do get together. <sighs> because my coworkers love the brookies. I also picked up a can of this. I enjoy this coconut cooking spray from the Dollar Tree. This is 20% more. It works great. It is zero carbohydrates. It's a spray. I mean, I don't, it works for cooking spray. So I grabbed one of those. I go through a fair amount. Food wise, I picked up salt and pepper. So I was supposed to, again, it was canceled, but in September, I was supposed to go to Canada for a four day weekend for a cross stitching retreat and it was just canceled and I had already purchased this stuff, but um, it'll be rescheduled. And this is stuff I can take with me to have in my room. So it's fresh ground pepper and pink Himalayan salt, which I use these two items. And I thought this is perfect for my own little grinder to have with me and then my pink salt instead of this cat is crazy. Instead of uh, table salt, I can just throw that in my in my room because I was going to be bringing some food items that I could eat. For crafting, I picked up this tumble tower set. I needed this size block to finish a project that I'm getting ready to video for you guys. But I need—I was having a hard time finding this game, which I've always seen. And I might need a secondary one. We'll see. But the store I went to had one. So I grabbed it for us. Those are great. If you've not seen these, they're just little tiny. It's like a miniature Jenga, but the little blocks are great and they're pretty consistent in size to craft with. Speaking of crafting, I love this. It's contact paper, but we're going to try to do something with it. And it's just black roses, black and white. I love it, guys. It's so pretty. And I have an idea, and we're going to see if I can make it work. But this is great for any, any project, really. Um, and you get, for a dollar, 18 inches by one and a half yards. And this is contact paper. So for shelf and drawer liner is what it is. Easy apply and remove. So I don't know if it'll stay on, but we'll see. I think it'll stick to like paper or something. So I grabbed one of those because I thought it was pretty. I found this dream catcher and I'm not normally a huge fan. Oh, this is missing. Oh no, it's not. I'm not a huge fan of dream catchers, but I really liked this one and I was going to see if my, my littles, somebody would like to hang it in their locker. I like it. I think it's cute. And it's done well. 
it's you know I like the natural feel of it and these little natural beads with just a little sparkle so I grabbed one of those and it's uh, just they had it in this and a star and the star was gray and this was in the natural so I thought that'd be fine and maybe she would like to hang it in her locker um some other things now oh I grabbed one of these if you haven't tried this, I think it's great. They don't last a whole long time, but it is a buffer sealer shiner, I think. A buffer shiner, medium grit, coarse grit. So it's to um, smooth and file. So you could do like, take your nail, you can file it down, then you stand the top and then you buff it and then you shine it. I love these. I love these, especially if I break a nail, they're great. Or take off nail polish. You've seen these before, but they're not too bad quality for the sass, Sassy and Chic brand. So I thought that was great. I ran my other one, some of the sides, you know, I can get a good couple weeks out of it, but it's not like a $10 one. Just keep that in mind. Uh, Pounce Treats for my sister-in-law's cat. She's coming over today and her kitty Tig loves these and they don't have them always at her store so I grabbed them for Tig. Tig's an older girl and she likes the soft treats where my boys won't touch the soft treats. They don't care. For, well Alex doesn't really like treats much at all which is surprising depend because of the size of him but there it is. Um, again on the travel notes so this is actually a pencil case. They had them out a different print last year and I feel like I got one. Uh, but I think I have pencils in it and pens. But it's a pencil case. So it will hold, you know, pens, pencil, scissors for school. It's in the back to school section. But here's what I'm going to use it for when I travel. And I've mentioned that in non-pandemic times and non, you know, rioting and all of that, I travel pretty regularly, even if it's just like weekend getaways and whatnot. Um, okay, why can't I shut this? It's not it, it's me. This is totally user error. There we go. Um, I'm gonna put my makeup brushes in here. Think about that for an alternative use if you don't need a pencil bag, which I don't, but I struggle with traveling with a couple make, I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do bring a couple brushes with me and this would hold it. This would also hold toothbrush and toothpaste. You could put your pens in here. You could put markers in here. Um, if you send your kids off to school with plastic silverware, like reusable silverware, that can go in here. Although that might get kind of gross. Uh, yeah, I don't think the inside is shiny. Um, yeah, but there's all kinds of things other than knitting needles, crafters, crochet hooks would fit nicely down in here. And look, do you know why I had to get it? Look at the kitty. <laughs> I love these and I love them for pens and pencils. Sunglass case, sunglasses, really it would hold anything. And I like that it zips so it stays shut and it keeps everything that's in here protected. And they had all different prints of this at my Dollar Tree. So I grabbed that. Um, I got some different, if you saw my last haul, I got clear and gold glitter glue. This is red, gold, and silver. I'm gonna do a test on these too. I'll show you um, what I use them for. Oh, my nail polish chipped. But for three of these for a dollar, it's totally for accenting. It's not gonna cover if I, my theory holds and with other glitter glues I've used, you put it down like paint with it, decorate, and the, the paint dries up and what is left is the glitter, but it sticks. So it's not like loose glitter that gets everywhere. It will stay. So that's what we're gonna try to do with some paper crafting and we will see if I can get that to work. So that's coming up on the horizon. Look at these different baskets I found, guys, and the shape, it's a square. Do I need more baskets? No. I don't, but look at it. So I got it in two different sizes. Now I will say it's not as sturdy as the other ones. It's a little thinner plastic, but they're still cute. And I would use these in my refrigerator. I would so get them in white 
and use them to store things in my fridge because I'm not about a loose everything willy-nilly. I like things contained. So these would be great for condiments in your refrigerator or snacks for the kids, especially with back to school time. You could set one up with their snacks so when you go in to pack lunches or in your pantry for kids to grab and pack, help pack their own lunches. These are great containers because they're small and they're not heavy. You know, and they're not gonna break, but they're not super heavy for the little ones. Also good for craft storage, which is probably what I will end up using them for. I am trying to redo some craft stuff in my house. Um, silly, I almost thought I was done and I'm not. I grabbed some Dove deodorant to try. This little spray, again, thought I was going on a trip, but I'm not. Uh, but I am next year, and this is one ounce. One ounce. I don't know what it smells like, but it's Dove. Ooh, that smells good. It's cucumber. Um, again, I'm not buying this to use every day, but to throw in a gym bag or to throw in um, traveling, this is a perfect size. I want to do a test to make sure I could get a full 7 to 10 days out of it, which I'm sure I can. But, um, yeah, so it's this Dove Cucumber. It smells really nice, too. Not typically a huge fan of the aerosol, but I wanted to try it for convenience-type things. So I grabbed that. Um, I found more socks, guys. I found more socks. And I'm giving these... I was going to hold them for Christmas, but I don't think that's necessary. Where's the other pair? I had two other pair here of this brand street vision and these are just green and white but these guys are a nice sock this is a good quality boy sock um yeah and it's that length that they like that three-quarter length and it says street vision wear on it i don't know how much he's run for i haven't looked it up but it says machine wash they're cotton just boys 90 oh these are polyester socks. I grabbed him another pair of those. So there's three of that. And this is going to go in my nephew Atticus. He starts high school this year. And this is going to go in his back to school goodies that his niece, his sister and I got him. Um, these are also socks for him. Please guys. Do you see that? And then the, the heel and the cuff have like not, an, oh, and the toe doesn't say they've put a sticker over the branding on here. Let's see if I can No. They've put a sticker over the branding. I don't know what brand this is, but this is uh, size 10 to 13. Boys or men's. And these are also super nice and thick cotton. These are 55% cotton polyester spandex. So we got the astronauts. Um, please, some neon, I guess this is camo. Um, some Taco Tuesday socks, please, guys. Taco, hot sauce, and a drink. How cute are these? And sumo wrestlers. Um, yeah, and these have the black heel, toe, and cuff. And these are so thick and nice. Like, these will be great in Ohio winter when he has to go back to school. Um, so I picked up for him four, five, six, three, four. Seven pair of socks for $7. Like, you're not going to get that. Now, I don't know if every store is carrying these. I've seen them at two of my stores. But I just, I was grabbing, this all came from one haul. These other ones came from a separate. But I just grab them when I see them. Because these are nice socks, like I said. So that is a back to school um, thing for my nephew. And yes, I get questions all the time. Yes, my family very much appreciate when I pick stuff up for him. Plus, I want to bring it home to show you, but I don't want to have it all over my house all the time, so it's just easier if I get things for other people. Now, the last three things I'm pretty stoked about, and these were at a store that did not have a big Crafter Square section. They just have the little end cap section, but these were items that I found there, and this is a retractable holder. I have no idea what this is, but we're going to find out. I think it's a pencil case, if I had to guess, by the picture on the side. But, again, you know, we don't always use everything for what their intended purpose is, right? So, let me take this off. So, I'm really into storage right now. I'm getting my house together. Ooh, it's clear. I like that because you can crick it or put stuff on it. But, guys, it unscrews. 
So you could totally use this for pens and pencils, pictures, posters, documents. That is fun. And wherever length you are, you just stop screwing. So if you had something like a big picture you needed to store or a cross stitch or a craft project or long paint brushes, you could store them in here and you just tighten it until it's where you need it to be. How fun is that? And because it's totally blank, you could put stickers on here, you could Cricut, you could Sharpie, you could paint on it, and it has a wrist holder. That is neat, guys, for a dollar, thank you. And the bottom is like shaped so for easy grip. Knitting needles. This would be great knitting needle or crochet hook storage. Oh, how fun, I like that. So I grabbed that, let me put this in the trash. And then these two, and there were four of these signs, but I only grabbed two. Um, will you please look at the size of this? It, this one says home, and there's actually two holes here that you could hang it on the bottom. I don't know how big this is, but I'm gonna say it's 12. Oh, 11 inches by five and a half inches. And then I got family. Same thing. And then they had other ones. I don't remember what they said. How awesome is that? These are big, guys. These are big. They're metal. I need to figure out how to paint these galvanized metal. I guess spray paint? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. Because I like the galvanized look. Don't get me wrong. But I would love to paint these like black and put them on a wreath. But I grabbed home and family. All right, I guess that was a pretty big haul. So I have everything. I hope you guys have a good day. Um, like, subscribe, comment below. We're really growing here. We're om almost at 12,000, or I'm sorry, 11,500 subscribers. How exciting is that? All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.